For centuries, the dream of turning lead into gold captivated alchemists and mystics alike. Today, that dream has been realized, not in a medieval laboratory but deep beneath the Franco-Swiss border at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Between 2015 and 2018, scientists at CERN achieved a remarkable feat, they transformed lead into gold. However, this modern alchemy comes with significant caveats. During the LHC's second operational run, high-energy lead ions were accelerated to 99.999993% the speed of light and directed into near-miss collisions. These ultra-peripheral collisions generated intense electromagnetic fields, causing some lead nuclei to eject three protons, effectively transmuting into gold nuclei. In total, approximately 86 billion gold nuclei were produced amounting to a mere 29 picograms about 29 trillionths of a gram. The process, while groundbreaking, yields gold that is highly unstable. These gold nuclei exist for only a fraction of a second before disintegrating upon collision with the LHC's infrastructure. Thus, while the transmutation is scientifically significant, it offers no practical means of gold production. The ALICE, or a Large Ion Collider Experiment detector, played a crucial role in this discovery. Equipped with zero-degree calorimeters, or ZDCs, ALICE was able to detect and analyze the rare events of gold production amidst the myriad of particle collisions. This capability underscores the detector's sensitivity and the precision of modern particle physics experiments. Beyond the symbolic achievement, this research provides valuable insights into nuclear physics and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. Understanding these transmutation processes aids in refining theoretical models and improving the stability and performance of particle accelerators. While the dream of alchemists has been technically realized, the practical implications remain limited. Nevertheless, this milestone represents a significant step in our understanding of the fundamental forces and particles that constitute the universe.